Um, so I just got this in the mail. For this week's video, I am going to make a miniature Diagon Alley shop. Well, I guess that's what we're doing this week. So, I got this little miniature greengrocer DIY kit. And I looked at it and I thought, it's cute. But what if I made it into a little Diagon Alley shop? Giving it a bit of a magical Harry Potter twist. Let's just get going and see where we land. So let's open up the set and see what's inside and how we're going to use it. Pop these out. And then I cut these beans, make them into a little circle that goes inside, and then it should look like a pot of beans. These pots of honey cause me just so much anger. <laughs> uh. said they have some fabric that you can make the bags of potatoes with but the oh they are not working and they're making me so so mad instead of using the fabric i'm going to use some of this paper and pretend that it's fabric and i think it'll it'll look fine Next step is to make the other crate system and then paint them brown, let that dry while I make the little vegetables that go in the other crates and then put it all together. Part, I've got all of these tiny little beads and those are going to become apples. Get that size difference. So the carrots and the corn and the cucumbers, they're so much bigger than the apples. But let's just pretend that they use a magnifying spell on the vegetables and left the fruit to its original size. <laughs> so then it's time to make the counter um, and they did give me some gold paint that I can use. So I think I'm going to see how decent the gold paint is they gave. Yeah, like that's the wood texture, but it's just glossy, which I'm not a fan of. So I'll paint it brown like I did with the rest. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so hear me out. I know that there's lawnmowers outside and it's really annoying, but I can't really do anything about it. I used some toilet paper to buff it out in here to make it slightly fuller, then use an alcohol marker to color that a sort of mossy green so that when I add this, this green grassy stuff, um, they're sort of like a soil-like base. this needs to be painted before I can add any of the flowers and plants and stuff because once that's in there it becomes really hard to get into the nooks and crannies so now I'll make a little spade and, well, basically all of this garden equipment. I lost the piece of metal paper. I had it and then I didn't. It literally went like that. Found it. Because I don't like this flooring, I've decided to cut out a floor out of a piece of really thin wood. I've got myself a cup of water and paint so I can stain the floor into like a dark wood. So we've basically reached the second phase I think where we start incorporating some Harry Potter stuff because it's getting to the point where basically assembling becomes necessary I think <laughs> I don't even remember what steps I said uh, I was gonna say it's like phase one make stuff phase two make Harry Potter stuff I think but whatever um this is the back wall and then oh there's paint on that let's see oh there's paint on the mat let me just quickly clean up I'm back we've got the back wall piece um and the side lattice work which will get some vines wrapping around using these little leaves now i do think i want to stick to the green i just don't want it to be well this because i think this is ugly i think what i want to do is go for a darker green and have gold details <laughs> This pile over here that has the floor underneath it so that the glue um, can set. Uh, I painted this this green, uh, the same green that I painted the steps and the planter and this little sign thing. The other side I gave it this textured look. I'm going to add weathering to the whole thing anyway, so I think I'll leave this this grey and then in the weathering I can add some browns and stuff. These little squares, the same green. This is going to be a little sign with the name of the shop on there. I also did it on the big one. So um, yeah, that'll have in gold have some nice sign details. I also finish painting this one this green as well so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is adding some shading to the back wall pieces and to this thing I want to do that before I add the vines because I think once I add the vines I can't really go in with paint to add shading as much um because it would also uh, affect the leaves and I don't want that <laughs> 
That is so much better. So I actually think I'll be able to just draw over it with this this gold pen that I've got. I'm just going to draw on the sign and see how it looks and if I don't like it I can always stick something over it. Well that worked surprisingly well so I'm going to still add a greengrocer on this side um, and I'm going to add a gold border around this so as you can see the the edges are quite uneven um, but the with a gold border I think I can sort of make it look crisp. So I added the sign on the, the boxes on here and there we go. A spelling mistake because, you know, of course. I thought I'll write the text in Word and then I'll just copy the letters. I thought that way that would not allow my dyslexia to get in the way. So. I typed in greengrocer with a C, but as two separate words. And then it put the little red line underneath. Right click that. And it said, make it one word. Greengrocer with an S. And I thought, oh, I, I, I swear it's with a C. But to be fair, I'm not one to trust when it comes to spelling. So, yeah. And then I came downstairs and my mum was like, um, yeah, you write that with, with a C. Jack and Simons, they're, they're dyslexic. Hey, it serves them right for not getting, you know, language and maths class at Hogwarts, but only potion making. Who needs potion making in real life when you can't even spell? <laughs> to print out some stuff on my laptop, find some images of like Harry Potter newspapers and um, the box of the, the all flavours jelly beans and, and then I'll print them out and then I can add them onto the project. I've got this now and this will be about two centimetres. Just piece this together. I've got a little diagonally sign which I want to put on the back of the building. I also found this little world map that I want to use a pack of all flavored jelly beans and there you go i printed three of the boxes the sign some books it's not the best quality but this is just what our printer is going to do so it's fine to make a book i take one of these little covers and inside i put cardboard now cardboard is of course made out of layers so what i do is i tease the layers a bit so they separate which makes it look like the pages of a book i'm just gonna make a bunch of these and i'll be back with you in a second so i've decided to put little maps in here i printed out a map 
to hang on the wall and <laughs> yeah that was way too big so i cut it into four pieces and then um, now i'm rolling them up and then it becomes a little crate of maps also decided to use only one of these strings on hooks and then I'm gonna hang some newspapers off it. Now it is time to build this frame that will sit at the front with the glass and and stuff behind it. I'm gonna make a couple of adjustments to it. I want to add more beams in between to make it look more like a diagon alley shop compared to a slightly more modern shop. What I've come up with I'm using a piece of cardboard for the bottom that's gonna get uh, painted green. Then these are cocktail sticks. Those are gonna be painted black and then the frame I think is also gonna paint well, gonna be painted green. It's time to assemble everything. Um, I've already mixed the paint. Look at that match. I mean, it's slightly darker, but I think that's pretty close. I need to completely let this dry before I can start painting it. few coats later there's time for weathering so I have two options either I just put a, a clear sheet of the plastic just like this but when I add a layer of wood glue, it sort of creates this, yeah, it's hard to tell on camera right now, but it creates a bit of a textured glass effect. I think I like that more over just a plain sheet of the glass. So I've decided to leave the lights off. I can't quite figure out a way of it properly working. I have no experience with this. The instructions aren't clear enough. It looks like I'm going to have to strip the wires. We don't actually have a wire strip. Well, we have a wire stripper, but it's disappeared. And there's not really a way of me doing it without wires showing. So I'm just scrubbing it. So I've quickly just added these beams, painted them, used the same technique. So whether they're using sandpaper, then a little bit of paint here at the bottom, because I figured this is what people would walk around, so it would be dirtier than some other spots. I'm going to now paint the back of this in uh, brown so it looks like wood. So I made this piece of wood texture. What I did is I added a layer of brown paint, let that dry, then added a thicker layer on top and then scraped with the back of the paintbrush. And what I did is I used some light brown and I used a little bit of black and then I basically just dry brushed some on and then also created some, some like 
spots with paint that I then smeared out with my, my finger. <laughs> edging on both this piece and this piece making it look um, better whatever um, whoa can't actually add it to the building yet I first need to make sure that everything on the inside is glued down is finished because um, you don't want to end up with having to maneuver around it that's not gonna work I can paint them and I think I want to go with sort of a metal look, so I'm going to paint them black first. Then I'll go dry brushing with different shades of grey and uh, maybe some metallic. It's starting to look pretty cool. There's bits of green shining through if you hold it at quite a sharp angle. But if you just hold it like this, it's not too bad. Like with this one, you don't really see it anymore. So I think that just by layering the different shades of grey it should fade and otherwise uh otherwise it's tough luck bookshelf look at that it just if you look at the original basically the roof it, it barely fits it seriously just hits the corners and because i added a little bit of bulk at the top here it, yeah yeah so make a little extension piece add the shingles onto that paint the shingles and then when I glue it I mean there's not a, a large connection point so that's a slight issue so what I was thinking is I'll take some paper basically bridge that that point there and then paint all of it to match these wood tones the roof piece which means that I can now add it onto the building. It's done! Oh my goodness! It's done. So, it is time for the final reveal.
nap time, so I I love it so much. It is just it's so much better than I ever thought it was going to be. When I started this project, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to like Harry Potterify it and how I was going to make it feel like it actually belonged in Diagon Alley and I think I did a pretty good job. It is so cute and all the little details make me so happy. My favourite thing is the little bookshelf with the books with the little actual book covers on. It just makes me really happy. So there's only a couple of tiny little things that didn't go quite so well. The uh, the vegetables are quite large, so they don't quite fit in the little box. That's all right. One of the carrot tops ripped off again. Not a big deal. The windows, not all of them are of the same quality. I got better as I did more and more windows, um, but that's all right. I think overall the windows look so so cool, and the whole thing makes me really happy. So. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked this video. If you did like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. I upload every other Sunday. I'm still kind of new here. I don't know when I stop being new here, how that works. So at some point I'm going to have to come up with a different outro. But I'm new here. You're possibly new here. Let's go on a journey of whimsy and history and art and fun. So, yes. Um, and I will see you, I guess, in the next video. Bye! So it's sort of that. Nah. So let's open this up then. This is stupid. This is really dumb. Right. Okay then, guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> so dumb. So this project is... is um, crepe papier. Papier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the language part of my brain just shut off. I don't think I turned you on. Not. Let look at let, let. Oh. wow. Well, uh, who needs potion making? And little... here's a wire to da. So I've decided to shine it. I've decided to leave the light shop. Yeah, that was the end of the sentence. Wrap up time. That's good. The. Wrap up time! Wrap up time! Wrap it! <sighs> Wrap up time! I'm too excited for this outro. I'm, I can't keep a straight face because I'm just like so excited that it's done. I don't know what's going on with me right now. Mean. Mean.